Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a quick little comparison with the uh, J5 2017 Pro and the A5 2017. So these are nearly the same price actually and I wanted to see uh, which one is the better buy here. So we're going to compare them uh, head to head and see you know, which one gives you the better value for money. So with these two, the spec is nearly identical actually, both three gigs of RAM. I think the process is a little bit different. You do get uh, Exynos uh, processors in both of them, the 7870 in the J5 versus the 7880. Uh, so I don't know what the actual difference is there, but in fact actually the difference is that the J5 is clocked at 1.6. Uh, whereas the A5 is clocked at 1.9, uh, so that could lead to a bit slower performance compared to the A5. Uh, we are getting a similar kind of screen here in terms of AMOLED, but I think the screen on uh, the J5 is only 720p actually, which is quite shocking in 2017. You know, you would expect at least a full HD for the price that they are asking for. Uh, you do get a full HD on the A5, which looks very nice. You can't really see too much of a difference here, i got to say, looking head on, but you know, uh, you are getting less pixels. Also, the uh, buttons on the bottom don't light up, as you do get on the uh, A5, as you can see, uh, which is uh, something that's a bit annoying when you're in like low light condition. Uh, I don't think you're also getting the full uh, waterproofing and dust proofing that you do get on the A5. Uh, so is there any reason to buy the J5 Pro? We're going to have a look, just compare the speed uh, day to day. So the, the J5 does come with a slight advantage in that it's running the most up-to-date version of the Samsung UI here, uh, which is just the same as what you get with the S8 so you do swipe up for the app drawer uh, which is nice gotta say it's good that Samsung's at last keeping its phones quite consistent in terms of software so we'll just uh, open up some third-party apps for Square and so far, I haven't really been paying attention to the speed test actually, but maybe you have. And I think uh, it's been quite back and forth overall. You can see the J5 came up snappier there. And the J5 again. Uh, so the J5 Pro does have three gigs of RAM, so that could help with the performance a little bit. You can see easily seems to keep up with the the A5 on the basic uh, apps here. So there's probably not going to be too much difference in terms of the day-to-day -day performance. Even the games look quite identical. One annoying thing about the A series is still running Android Marshmallow, uh, which is ancient now. You are getting the latest Android 7.1 with the J5. Uh, whether it will get Android O remains to be seen. Highly unlikely this century. But you can see A5 for the game here. Let's just try another one. So maybe the A5 a little bit better when it comes to your um games here as you can see uh there's a little bit different in terms of the cameras on these two as well you are getting a 1.7 aperture on the the new j5 which is very good for low light apparently uh, versus 1.9 on the a5 the a5 does have a 16 megapixel so slightly more high detailed uh, which could be good for more detailed shots than that so I think the one on the J5 is 13 megapixel and you can see in terms of the speed there's not really that much difference here I think uh, really day to day both uh, phones will feel about as good as each other uh, we can just have a look at the Wi-Fi so 
So you can see both on the same, you start with the A5. So both of them have uh, quite big batteries as well, 3000 mAh. So you're looking at a very nice uh, talk time here, uh, up to like 15 hours according to the official spec. So quite uh, similar performance here for your Wi-Fi. Again, maybe it's the processors, not too much difference here uh, between them. Uh, I think the J5 does support dual SIM. I did see the dual symbol at the back, which is something quite useful. Uh, we can just have a look at the uh, real web page load here. So let's just try what can we try Yahoo so maybe the A5 there and another one Amazon so not too much difference again here both of them support the 5G Wi-Fi which is good uh, to see uh, multitasking, let's have a look at how they compare reload here on the left and another one and again so it seems the older software on the A5 is more stable when it comes to the basic apps let's have a look at the games uh, so let's try this one. Straight in there on the right. And we're getting a complete reload on the left. So you can see I don't even have to do all of them here. The software on the J5 seems to be a little bit beta kind of thing. Uh, not uh, the most stable let's go to the start of this again let's try another one so yeah you can see here at the moment uh, the J5 very disappointing when it comes to the multitasking component uh, so to me you know if you're looking at these two I can't really see a single reason why you'd get the J5 Pro over the uh, A5 when you consider how many advantages the A5 does have. Also, there's type uh, the old type of USB connector down here still, uh, which is a little bit uh, frustrating, you know, to see. Uh, so yeah, you know, that's how I think really in regards to this uh, device. It's uh, quite a nice device in the hand, but the J5 I think is better as a budget phone. Uh, so there's no real need for a J5 Pro, but I bought it anyway to check it out and you know I'll do some more comparisons with it. Uh, so yeah, just a quick video here and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.